This is a review of landmark papers for damage control laparotomy from the East Landmark Papers online resource. This paper, published in 1993, has been cited as the original modern description of damage control laparotomy. Damage control was defined as the initial control of hemorrhage and contamination followed by intraperitoneal packing and rapid closure, allowing for resuscitation to normal physiology in the ICU and subsequent definitive re-exploration. Over three and a half years, 22 patients had definitive laparotomy and 24 patients underwent a damage control procedure. Medical records were retrospectively reviewed for variables seen on your screen. No significant differences were identified between the two groups of patients and survival rates were similar. However, in a subset of 22 patients with major vascular and two or more visceral injuries, survival was markedly improved with damage control laparotomy. At reoperation, damage control survivors averaged 8 units of packed red blood cells and 10 units of FFP transfused over a mean ICU stay of 32 hours. Resolution of coagulopathy, acid-base balance, and core rewarming were achieved. All patients had gastrointestinal procedures at reoperation. At the time of the study, the authors concluded that damage control was a promising approach for increased survival and in exsanguinating patients with major vascular and multiple visceral penetrating abdominal injuries.